Senator Lankford, the whole debate over religious freedom, it's a growing one. How serious is a threat out there just to everyday Americans who want to live out their faith? It, it is a very serious threat for us because people are trying to say you have freedom of worship and not freedom of religion. Uh, the and what's the difference? Well, the Constitution is very clear that Congress will make no law uh, dealing with or the establishment of religion uh, and the free exercise thereof. Uh, so it allows us to say you can live your faith. It's not just have a faith and you can practice it over there. It's actually live your faith. So let me give you an example. A lot of people have heard about Coach Kennedy from Washington State. Uh, as a football coach, after the game was over, he would kneel down and silently pray. His school district came back to him and said, you can't silently pray after a football game where people can see you. We'll offer you a place out of sight for you to be able to go pray. That is freedom of worship. That is them saying, we're going to pick as a state the time and place of your worship, and you're free to do it over there where no one can see you. That is not what we have in America. Whether you're an elected official, uh, whether you are a, a federal official, state, local, whether you're an individual in any place at any time, we have the freedom to be able to live our faith. Uh, and so I think it's incredibly important that we continue to reinforce that because for whatever reason, the generation that's coming up is afraid of faith. Uh, and so we need to reinforce again, it's not just that uh, individuals can have faith, they can also live their faith, and also in America, you don't have to have a faith at all. Uh, you're not un-American because you have no faith. That's a decision each person makes. But what about those increasingly in the government who say, whether it's health care laws like Obamacare, right. whatever it happens to be, we want to strip faith out because we don't want government funding anything that ever offends anybody, but then it ends up offending the very That's whole exactly group right. of religious people. Then, then the official religion of America is atheism. That's what it is in China. And there are people within this government and around our nation say, we want to make sure we have no establishment, no one expresses religion in any public place. They want to be like China. And China is not a place where there's freedom of worship and freedom of religion. Uh, this is a place that's very different. We're the United States of America. Individuals can live their faith. In fact, Article 6 of the Constitution is very clear as well. There's no religious test for any officer of the United States. If you're an elected official, you can live your faith. Or if you don't have faith, you don't have to have one to be, to be elected. Or if you're uh, Catholic bishops, uh, you should be able to actually go after government grants the same as anyone else does. And for them to say, I'm sorry, you have faith, so you can't do this. Or if you're a Christian school, uh, for you to be able to engage in education. Just because you express faith doesn't mean you get excluded from culture. You're a part of this nation, a part of this culture.